How's it going everyone, Sinister of the Gamer section bringing you another review, and today I'm covering Goons, Legend and Mayhem for the Xbox Series S and X, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and 5, Nintendo Switch and PC. The setting takes place in Zamboni and suddenly an evil force hits the area turning the hockey players into monsters. It's up to our heroes Brazier and Old Wizard and Helmwing and Ice Maid to stop the evil mascot here. Graphically, this game is bright and vibrant with its color scheme, but of course ice hockey is the main theme here and you will see it throughout the landscape. The characters have a cartoony look to appeal younger players, the dialogue is told via text boxes during the story mode so there's no voice stories. It's funny enough to see the chemistry between the two main characters. Uh, the music is basically and it fits the tone of the game, the, or game, and there's an overview map that you can travel around just to get stickers, upgrades, or play multiplayer, more of that in the gameplay. The smooth animation flows nicely and it runs good at 60 frames per second depending on your platform. The presentation of this hockey themed game is for fans of sports and adventure games. Boom Legends of Mayhem is an action beat up mixing with ice hockey. Your goal is to eliminate enemies and to defeat the Eva Masketeer. But when it comes to the controls it's simple at first but when it comes to the mini games you have to switch it up. Like for example, when you're facing off against an opponent in a one-on-one -on -one match, you're going to spend most of your time playing defense fighting over the puck, and it's also difficult to score against you know, the goalie. Uh, during missions, you're given objectives to complete before and there's a boss fight at the end. Along the way, you can be unlock other characters that you can use during certain missions because they have their own skills also. Uh, there are coins you can collect and buy upgrades and stickers, but however, they're easy to lose every time you get hit. If you want to take a break from story mode, you can try out the multiplayer and you know play with others, either local or online for competition. Again, this game is going to appeal for younger players and hockey fans respectively. I have one minor gripe about this game is that you can't skip cutscenes when you restart a mission. You have to endure it before you restart the mission again. And another thing I encountered was a glitch during a boss fight, but restarting that you know fixed the problem. However, when it comes to this game, it, it appeals to younger players. If you're not a hockey fan or a beat em up fan, then this game is definitely not for you. I give Goons Legends and Mayhem a 3 out of 5. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to drop us a like and subscribe to the channel.